very often, I mean, we're talking, our conversations, as I'm sure many of yours are, around how many level four children do we have this year? What's our value added? How many are we getting into level five? Do we have any level six learners this year? The conversation has been very guided by assessment. But we're able now to begin to have conversations. The discourse has changed. And the discourse has changed because the textbooks and the system have moved us towards that. It's moved towards this. Is the mathematics that we're teaching today, in the way that we're teaching it, is that foundational in giving the children a platform from which they can propel themselves into higher level mathematics? Or have we just made sure they can get a level four? And that conversation is no longer an issue in a disadvantaged school. We're talking about, are we making lifelong mathematicians? Now, I'm, I'm gonna end my very quick presentation with this idea that Ben Bloom, who is the gentleman who coined the term mastery learning, 40 years ago had these really wild ideas that all children can learn in the right conditions and it's really important to reduce the achievement gap between pupils. And those are things that have permeated conversations, but not the resources, not the application of discussions around mathematics for too many years now. And I'm a big fan of Sir Ken Robinson. Um, and he, you know, he has said very clearly that what we need in education is not a, a reform. That reform is taking previously broken ideas and placing them on top of one another to create something slightly different. And what I'm saying about Singaporean textbooks is this, is that Singaporean textbooks are not a reform on what we've had previously in this country and in my own. Singaporean textbooks are a revolution. And that's what we need in mathematics education today, and that's what Singaporean textbooks provide. Thank you. <laughs>